What's up guys? Welcome. This is my face. Ignore my hair. I'm I cut my hair. It's been over a year now and it's still growing out. The back looks decent. It looks about where I had it before I cut my hair. But the sides, if I don't tuck them behind my ears, they're like down to here. So it's a weird look. So I'm just kind of going for like a mullet kind of right now cuz it looks like I have short sides. It's a whole thing. But uh, I just finished editing the Sailor 1911 Compass video. It's uploading on YouTube right now. Just to kind of give a sense of time scale, I guess. And I still need to clean my room. You know, I just moved here last month. We got our, our stuff. We got all of our furniture and whatnot. And I, <laughs> I cleaned like crazy, unboxed like crazy the first day. And then I just wanted nothing to do with it ever since. So it's been a long process. Um, yeah. So I need to get into that. But to procrastinate, instead of doing that, um, I watched the video, I believe it was last night, where Drew Brown, his last name's Brown, right? I think so. Uh, from Goulet Pins talked about keeping only three pins inked. So I'm going to try that for the next 30 days bring you guys along, see how that goes. Um, I love watching those like videos of doing blah, blah, blah for 30 days, quitting alcohol, taking cold showers, whatever, 30 days. <laughs> so let's try to keep only three pens inked for 30 days. I have a feeling it's going to be very boring because one of those pens is gonna be for school. One will be a pretty pen, um, which will probably, so the school one will be Probably my Lamy Safari with a Traumatus Archive Black. The pretty pin at all times will be the Twisby Swipe with Sailor Shikiori Yamadori. And then one more pin. I usually keep my Pelican inked up because I love it so much and it's kind of like my journaling pin. But I have a feeling I'm going to unink that and just have it as like a pretty pin that I keep on my desk but don't write with. Which I usually hate that mindset, but I'm going to try this and see how it goes. Because let me show you guys how many pins I currently have inked. It's a bit much. It, I don't need all of these pins inked at the same time. Here, these are the pins I don't have inked. <laughs> uh... And here's the pins I do have inked, including the Safari and the Twisty Swipe and the Pelican and the Kaveco and the other Moon Man and the Sailor. So yeah, there's a ton more pins inked than there needs to be. Um, I keep those two inked, like I already said, because they're two of my go-tos. I keep the Pelican inked because it's one of my favorites. I keep um, the Sailor inked. It's been inked because I knew I was going to be recording a review of it. Um, the Moon Man, I was testing. I don't know if I said that. Kaveco, I don't know why that's inked. I don't like that pen. <laughs> Metropolitan is inked because I was trying to sell it. So I was uh, writing with it, proving that I still had it and everything. Jinhao, never used. It's just cute. I like to have it ready to go. That I can't really unink. It's been inked since I bought it. In like high school so it's been a long time um that's my go-to everyday carry but it doesn't need to be inked until i'm i know i'm leaving uh the kakuno i just recently got it just i i haven't really been using it, it was a go-to for school for a little while the moon man it has my apollo 11 ink and i don't want to waste the ink that's in there um but I just wanted to have Apollo ready to go at any time, but I don't really use it. And the Kaveco Sport, it sucks, but I was testing Stars and Stripes. Um, it doesn't really work well with that pen. So I need to unink and clean all these pens after I figure out what three pens I'm going to keep inked. And I will show you guys that process. I'm realizing now this is going to be a very long video and I apologize in advance, but the three pens I've decided to keep inked are my Safari for school, my Twizzy Swipe because it's beautiful and sue me, um, and the third right now 
will be the new moon man I got with the Christmas decorations on it because I want to use that to write Christmas letters and just kind of test it out since I just got it I believe yesterday. So let's go ahead and clean out all those pins. I'll show you guys the aftermath. <laughs> should have seen a time lapse before this video. So here is the aftermath. My right hand is not too inky, but the left one has seen some better days. It's still not too bad. Here are all the bodies that didn't need to be washed. Here are the cartridges, converters, and bodies that needed to be washed. And this is what I call the Nibmeister. <laughs> it is a cup with a lid that's made for like coffee, but I put my nibs and feeds in there, let them soak um, about 30 minutes, and then keep cycling fresh water through it until the water runs clear, which I think I gave the nibs um, and feeds a pretty good clean, so I probably won't need to uh, cycle water through at all. Um, maybe once but not too bad. But then this lid allows me to pour out all the water without the feet coming out and getting damaged or anything. So I'll let those sit for a while. Sink is all clean. I'll see you guys later once I have a thought about only keeping three pens inked. Oh, right, the update yesterday. So I did a little bit of school. Is this day three or four? I don't know. I'll, it'll be in the video. It'll tell you. <laughs> but the day that I cleaned and filled the pens, which I think, yeah, that was yesterday. I ended up taking a few pages of notes for school. And I used my Twisby Swipe with Sailor Shiki Hori Yamadori. I apologize for my hair. It's just, I don't care today. <laughs> um, I used the Sailor pen and I actually used the moon man that i decided would be my third pin with diamine um, magical forest the shimmer doesn't really show up you get a little bit if you shine a flashlight directly on it but that's it hi pin yes my room is still a major work in progress so yeah those are the three pins i did settle on the twisby swipe um with sailor shikiori yamadori the moon man with i believe that's a c2 I think, um, with Diamine Magical Forest and the Lamy Safari with Atromantis Archive Black. Now my arm's tired, my nose is running, I'm gonna go eat breakfast now. Goodbye. <laughs> Um, I do have a new tiny little update with the whole three fountain pens thing. Uh, again, you're gonna have to ignore my hair this entire video. I'm still in a weird stage. It's growing out. Blah, 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 blah. But, um, I was taking notes yesterday for school and I'll go ahead and show you something I've started doing. So, if you look later in my notes, I was typically only using my Safari and highlighter. I've used different highlighter colors. Yeah, see I've used like yellow, some green, but I would always use just the black ink in my Safari or whatever pen I was using at the time, but it was always the same black ink. But yesterday I was taking notes and I decided I was writing a bunch of questions and then answering them. And I ended up using both pens. So for the questions, I was using the black ink in the Safari and the Sailor ink in the Twisby. So that there's some a little bit of a color difference between them. And I think that looks really nice. 
before then, before I started this whole using only three pens or only having three pens inked, I would have never done that because like I had so many other pens inked that I just didn't use them because I was like, okay, well, they're always there. I don't need to use it right now because I always can later if I want. But having only three pens inked feels a lot more intentional and I want to use them because I know I only have it inked right now. You know, later if I want to ink up another pen, I might not be able to use it then anymore. So it, it feels more not urgent but it feels more important that i do use it because it's not always going to be inked and ready to go you know it's weird like it's i don't think it's a bad feeling i think it's a good feeling but i feel like the way i'm saying it makes it sound bad but i think it's good it's it's making me use my pens more even if less of them are inked i'm sorry you had to see my toilet <laughs> but you know what i mean like I, i'm actually really liking it so far i'm only a few days in Maybe like, what, one third, almost one third of the way through the month. But I'm really liking it. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because my dad's working from home today for some reason. But I've run into some special circumstances today. So I ordered a my first parallel, Pilot Parallel pen, because I wanted to try and get into like calligraphy type stuff. So this is about where I am right now. Not great, but considering I just started today, like an hour ago, I'm pretty happy with those results. Um, and if you read that, it says Merry Christmas because the intention was to write Merry Christmas or write people's last names like fancy on their Christmas letters. I like writing handwriting Christmas letters to everyone I know. And I also ordered some ink I was planning to use to write those Christmas letters. Um, I got like a nice bright red that made me think of Christmas, and that was Diamine, Diamine Wild Strawberry. So I was going to go ink that up. First of all, the parallel pen. I'm not going to count this in my inked fountain pens because it's like a special thing. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm not going to count that in my three fountain pens that are inked. Also, um, I was like, crap. Well, I have to switch out a pen now because I want to use this ink. But thankfully, I have this Christmas-themed pen. So I'm just going to take out the Diamine Magical Forest that's in it because you can't even see the shimmer. Um, and then I'll put the Wild Strawberry in that. And that'll be the pen I use to write Christmas letters. So let's go ahead and ink this bad boy up. Alright, hello. Um, I just got back home and the cat is staring at me. Won't let me zoom, but got back home. Um, I got three free pens and three bottles of ink for free. Um, I just, yeah. Some guy on Reddit said he'd give it to me. It's a whole, there's a whole story to it, but let me show you what I got. So it's in this case. <laughs> We have a Pilot Plumix, I suppose that's how you say that. All right, I'll get my tissue out of there, apologies. Um, and then there's a Jinhao. I don't know the specific model. Uh, it looks like 250. It's very weighty. It's metal. Um, and it has a nice looking nib. I don't think it's gold or anything. It's a Jinhao, but it looks sweet. I love it. Um, and then there's a bottle of Noodler's Black Swan Australian Roses. I'm probably going to give that away. I'm not a fan of Noodler's. Um, and there is a Secret Santa going on, so they might enjoy that. Then there's some Diamine Syrah, I would imagine. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, and then Most Excited Ink. That I'm, uh, most the ink I'm most excited about is some Eroshizuku Takesumi. I'm assuming. I've been wanting to try 
some kind of a Roshizuku ink. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's probably what I'm going to put um, in this next pin, which is what I was expecting. This is the only thing I was expecting out of this, but I got this and the case and these inks for free, which was awesome. Shout out to you, dude, if you just happen to be watching my video. Um, so I said I was looking for a Lamy 2000 on a local subreddit. And then we got to talking, and he said he'd give me one for free. Used, of course, not brand new. This is hard to open one-handed. There we go. Oh, gosh. Uh, I need to use, like, my foot or something. There we go. A free Lamy 2000. I do need to clean it out. He said he just put it in a drawer for like a year. So I gotta go clean it. It's a medium. I'm so excited. So, um, I will be uninking the Safari and inking up the, um, 2000. Now, this is a fine and this is a medium and I don't know how well this is gonna work and everything. So I'm gonna leave this inked for now. Um, just set it to the side and ink this. That way, if this doesn't work the way I want it to, I can still ink that back up. Because that's what I use for school. Or, I can just continue using that um, without having to ink it up and everything. Because, again, I do use that for school. So, I don't want that to be bad. So, yeah. Hello. Apologies for my hair, as usual. Um, so, update. Again, I never know what day it is. But it'll be here. <laughs> I think I think it'll be here. Um... So, update. Yes, I have decided definitely keeping the Lamy 2000 inked. I'm in love with this thing. Um, and then I will be uninking the Lamy Safari. So, I'll be using the Lamy 2000 for school instead of the Safari. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put a Traumantis, or however you pronounce it, again, uh, um, archive black in here. Or if I'm going to keep using the pilot Eroshizuku Takesumi. I'm sorry. I keep showing my toilet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and then I'll also be uninking the Jinhao and Plumix tonight as well. Uh, I might play around with them a little bit more before I unink them because they are pretty fun. Um, but yeah, they're going to be uninked. <laughs> it's just... I recently, I just replaced my mom's battery in her old phone because we're going to give the old phone away. And I just have cat videos playing because you're supposed to let the battery die after you charge it to 100%. So, you know, welcome to my life. <laughs> yeah, so after I do that, the three pins that will be inked are the Lamy 2000 with either Pilot Aroshizuku Ar that's in here. Or I'll unink it and put in a Traumantis Archive Black. And then the second one will still be the Twisby Swipe with Sailor Shikiori Yamadori. And the third one is the Moon Man C one because I'm still working on Christmas letters. You can see how much ink I've already used. This was full. Completely full. Um, you probably saw earlier in the videos. I'm pretty sure it's completely full. And I've already used that much just on Christmas letters. And I'm probably not even halfway done. Probably a quarter of the way done. So yeah, I got a long ways to go. I will keep you guys updated. This is likely the last update, though. I can't think of any other updates that should be coming. Um, I have Secret Santa stuff. There's a whole thing with that. Some ink was delivered today, but it wasn't actually delivered, just marked as delivered. That's a whole thing, whatever. Um, so... I mean, I got that stuff, but that's for Secret Santas. I won't be using any of that. Um, but I guess I'll get gifts from my Secret Santa. I'll probably, I might get new pins. I don't know. Um, that'll probably be after the end of this video, though. So, this is likely the last update. If it is, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, if not, then adios. So, I'll see you in the next clip. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is um, almost Christmas time and today is the last day of um, three pins for 30 days. Ignore my hair, I just got out of the shower. 
um, and I didn't brush my hair or anything. So this is, this is what you get. Um, is there, oh, there's a dog hair on my phone. I thought I had one weird hair. I mean, they're all weird, but whatever. So last day of three pin for 30, three pins for 30 days. Updates. Um, I took out the wild strawberry out of my diamine, diamine, no, out of my moon man C1. And I put some magical forest in the converter because that's easier to clean than the body. Um, but I did that because you, one of you viewers, wanted me to test it with uh, shimmer to see how the C1 handled shimmer. Handled it beautifully. Here's a, a picture or two. Um, but today, on the last day, perfect timing, I should be getting a gift from my Secret Santa from Discord. Uh, I hosted like a really small Secret Santa just for the close-knit Discord community that we're a part of. Um, and I'm getting that gift today. It is out for delivery. Should be here within an hour if all, all things go smoothly. Um, I'm also getting some other Christmas presents, so exciting day, um, although we do have guests, so I won't be able to play with the Christmas stuff I got, including a Oculus Quest 2. Excited about that. Um, but I will be able to look at the pin. I know there's a pin. I think there's other stuff, but I know there's a pin. I remember he was saying something about paper. I don't know if he included that or not. Why do I keep showing my toilet? Oh, I did put the Aqua FPS poster <laughs> above the toilet. Yeah. Um, so I know there's a pin, and I think it's going to be decent. He said it used to be his everyday carry fountain pen, so I'm excited to try it out. And that will be inked up. The C1 will be uninked, so I'll still have three pins in the rotation. And I'll, I'll show you guys that process once I do it. But yeah, uh, I've been really enjoying this. I really love just having three pens inked because, like I said before, beginning towards the beginning, I believe, it's just nice. It feels more intentional. Uh, sorry, I had to sneeze. But it feels more intentional and, like, I, it feels more special when I use those pens because I know they're only inked for... A limited amount of time my hair is a mess i'm gonna go um that's basically all i have to say if i think of anything else more i want to add i'll see you later and tell you that once i ink up the new pen which i'll show you because i don't know what it's gonna be yeah i'll see you guys once it's delivered all right hey guys i apologize it's the next day so technically be day 31 or 32 how many days are in yeah, I did it for 30 days, so this would be day 31. Yesterday was the last day of three pins for 30 days. Ignore my hair, I just woke up and watched the final F1 race. Um, I got my pin from my Secret Santa, and I am in love with it. So I uninked my Moon Man C1 and inked up the pin he gave me. That is just beautiful. Let me get it. Schaefer Balance Jr., gray i'm gray is my favorite color i love this he also convinced me i bought a bottle of diamine di di diamine uh bilberry that's what he had in this and that's what i'm gonna put in it next um he also gave me this little tiny rhodia notepad and because my other big rhodia notepad is running out of space this is gonna be the new notepad i use um when I test pins on my videos. So let me go ahead and show you how this thing writes. All right, you can see I've already written some stuff um, and I did ink it with Pelican 4001. So here it is, it's a tiny little pin, but I love small pins. So that works out perfectly. And you see this nib, it looks super fine, but it writes pretty broad. Looks like it's drying out a little bit. He said it writes at a specific angle. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Um, if 
feels like that's pretty good, honestly, just straight on. It looks great, writes great, it's amazing, I absolutely love it, this thing is gorgeous. You can see just how pretty this pen is. in love with this thing <laughs> all right this is a weird angle but we're gonna work with it so that has been the end of three pins for 30 days conclusion i've already given it a couple times i think i've been converted i'm not gonna keep all my pins inked up that's just obscene and i have no need for that i much prefer just having three pins inked um because like i said it makes it more special feeling using those the three pens that are inked um i did finish my christmas letters so i can go ahead and unink the moon man c1 and yeah so i started with my lamy safari my twisby swipe and the moon man c1 i believe and now i'm ending it with a lamy 2000 a um the twisby swipe still and a schaefer balance jr I was not expecting this when I started this challenge. Um, the Lamy 2000 was unexpected. This incredible Secret Santa pin was unexpected. It's all around unexpected. I had a good time. I will continue doing this. Um, I would say if you try this out yourself too, try not to be uh, super strict about it. So like technically I have four pins inked right now because I haven't uninked the Moon Man quite yet, but... I'm just kind of running with it, you know? Make it as strict as you can handle. If you can't handle super strict guidelines, then don't make it tougher on yourself. But I do recommend that everyone try it out. So that's all I have to say. Thanks, Drew, for the idea. And I'll see you guys later.